Hi, welcome back. Hearty welcome to you. We are solving examples as part of solution of simultaneous linear equations in matrices. We are going through matrix inversion method and in this session we will see how to apply the formula what we know x equal to a inverse d to find out the solution for the simultaneous linear equation. We have three linear equations here. One is 2x minus y plus 3z equal to 8, minus x plus 2y plus z equal to 4, and 3x plus y minus 4z equal to 0. Now we know as part of matrix inversion method, our approach is to first find out the a inverse then multiply with d. Before that we will try to identify what is matrix A and D here. We know A is nothing but coefficient matrix. So let's find out A. A equal to 2 minus 1 and 3. Then you have minus 1, 2, 1. Nothing but coefficients of different equations. 3, 1, minus 4. This is nothing but A and d is nothing but d1 d2 d3 nothing but 8 4 0 so we have d also clear to us we have to find out what is a inverse to find out a inverse we know a inverse equal to transpose of cofactors matrix divided by that a First, we will find out what is debt of A. Determinant of A is nothing but equal to 2 minus 1, 3, minus 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, minus 4. You can actually do transformations of this on this and then you can or you can simply expand this because it's a simple numbers only you know plus minus and plus these are the signs so 2 into if I take this row this column out I have minus 8 minus 1 minus of minus 1 that is plus 1 into if I remove column and row of 1 I will have 4 minus 3 that's nothing but equal to 1 into 4 minus 3 then I have plus 3 into if I remove the row and column where 3 is present I have minus 1 minus 6 that's nothing but equal to minus 7 if I simplify this I have minus 18 minus 21 plus 1 that's nothing but equal to minus 38 you can simplify this this is minus 18 then you have plus 1 that is minus 17 minus 21 so the detriment of a is nothing but equal to minus of 38 now what will be our next step we have to find out the cofactor so for that what we will do we'll write the cofactors we'll say a11 so that we have to write in this format only let us say a12 a13 a21 a22 a23 then a31 a32 and a33 so after that what we will do after that we'll say x equal to nothing but x y z is nothing but 1 by debt of a debt of a is nothing but minus 38 this I have to multiply with whatever the cofactor matrix I will have and that I have to multiply with d x equal to a inverse into d so that is 8 4 0 and we have to see what values we will get those values are nothing but equal to correspondingly the values of 1, 2 and 3. Now first let's find out what are the cofactors. A11, if I take the signs are same, plus 
minus plus so let me put in an another color plus minus and plus then this is minus plus minus this is again plus minus and plus ok right so let's first find out the cofactors a11 if i go for a11 minus 4 into 2 minus 8 minus 8 minus 1 that's nothing but equal to minus 9 so that's the first one next a12 is nothing but minus 4 into minus 1 4 4 minus 3 is 1 but I have a minus sign here that means it is minus 1 a13 if you go that is nothing but minus 1 minus 6 that's nothing but equal to minus 7 then a21 is nothing but the element in the second row first column so if I go there I will have minus 4 into minus 1 is 4 4 minus 3 is 1 but I have a negative here nothing but minus 1 I have minus 1 then a22 is nothing but minus 8 minus 9 minus 17 that is a22 a23 is if I just go to minus 1 here in the second row last right, last element second row third column I will have 2 into 1 2 plus 3 5 but I will have negative there so it will become minus 5 I will get minus 5 then I will go to a31 if I go if I remove the column and row of 3 in the third row I will have minus 1 minus 6 that's nothing but equal to minus 7 then if I go to a32 if I remove 1 I will have 2 into 1 2 plus 3 5 but I will have negative so it is nothing but minus 5 and a33 is nothing but equal to 2 into 2 4 4 and minus 1 that's nothing but equal to 3 and the sign for that is plus so you are ok now what will be this this is minus 9 minus 1 minus 7 minus 1 minus 17 minus 5 minus 7 minus 5 and 3 we will try to do it in couple of steps so I will not write the answer we will do the simplification here then afterwards we will see what it is this is nothing but equal to minus 1 by 38 into we will find out the values now minus 9 into 8 is minus 72 minus 1 into 4 is minus 4 so total is minus 76 if I go to the second row minus 1 is 8 is minus 8 17 into 4 is 68 negative negative so that's also minus 76 if I go to the third row minus 7 into 8 is minus 56 plus minus 5 into 4 is minus 20 that is also minus 76 so you can see negative sign there so I can I write it as minus you can bring it out minus minus cancels you will have 76 by 38 is 2 2 2 therefore x equal to 2 y equal to 2 z equal to 2 is the unique solution for this set of simultaneous linear equations so what we have done that just to recap as part of matrix inversion we have to do x equal to a inverse into d so first we have to find out the A inverse I should have cofactors because transpose, transposing the cofactor matrix I will get the adjoint matrix then I have to divide it by determinant of A so I calculate the determinant of A which is nothing but equal to negative 38 
now we found the cofactors and we have written in the formula x equal to a inverse into d we know a inverse we have multiplied with d we got three values that's nothing but 2 2 2 which is equal to capital X that's nothing but values of small x small y small z that gives me that x equal to 2 y equal to 2 and z equal to 2 so in the next session we will learn about gauss jordan method another method to find out the solution of simultaneous linear equations thanks for visiting bye for now see you in the next session